the fingerprints of England just everywhere in this country. Like the very nature of a Bill of Rights comes from England. Yeah. We created the first Bill of Rights. And so when you're like, okay, we're independent, what do we need? We need a Bill of Rights. Why do you need that? Well, because it's what we had in England. That's what. There, there were several of the founding fathers who didn't think we needed a written constitution. No, oh, just like and, England. Yeah, exactly. And so the other the other guys, I think it was, what, the was it the Federalists or the Anti-Federalists? I always mix them up. But one faction basically said, hey, oh, yeah, right. We know what you're going to do with power. We know what everyone does with power. Write it down. And, and I tell you, uh, that was a good idea. It was. Uh, it doesn't really matter anymore. Well, hold anymore, on. But, like, it but, was a good but idea less English. Yeah, yeah. The, the erosion of our protections does not mean those protections were not a good idea in the first place. Because what we've seen now is we're actually winning on gun rights across the board. Uh, more than half the country now has constitutional carry or some some kind of permitless carry. We have the right to keep and bear arms to a great degree. And I just saw, what is it? Um, they, they want to ban crossbows now in the in the UK. Is that the thing? Probably. Yes, because there's... I'm surprised they were even allowed in the first place. Well, there's, there's because there's a guy who tied up his ex-girlfriend and a sister and a mum and shot them in the head with a crossbow. So this I mean, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's horrific, evil, yeah. but it also doesn't mean that every single weapon should be... Because uh, we were we were just chatting outside. There's a massive knife crime epidemic in London. You haven't banned knives, as far as I know. Yeah, uh, well, it's on the... It's no, on they the have. Ticket, it's know? on the... Yeah. Uh, it, not, a, not well enough, It's almost apparently. like the Boy Scouts have been carrying pocket knives for years and there haven't been mass stabbing epidemics. It might be something to do with the people holding the knives... That's causing this epidemic, and this is this is the point I'm I'm going to make about the constitution. A written constitution, this is observation from Joseph de Maistre, matters less than what is written in the hearts and in the minds of the yes. legislators. And if you completely change the demographics and the culture of the United States, the constitution becomes an appeal to mercy, which is why you're winning on gun rights. But it's because it's a defensive posture using law to argue for what was already the assumed culture a yes. hundred years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the 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 fact that you are pointing out that it was assumed because they're natural rights, just you know, that is something that obviously does come from. Again, as we've been talking about, it comes from the the, the tradition of, of free English men, and it's something that we in America have have taken from, or brought with us, or brought you know they brought with them, 100%. and have you know have given to us as as our as their project. You you can just look at any other European country, and there isn't a history of um, armed uh, being an unarmed citizenry. Right, there's just not, and it, it's because I mean, in a way, I, I like the way you put it. Like you know, America is kind of the fulfillment of the English promise because, in in a sort of spiritual way, an Englishman should be armed. Yeah, he should be armed yeah. to defend his home, which is his castle. You know, I mean, you've got castle doctrine. That's, what sovereignty, that no That's what sovereignty yeah, is. That's what sovereignty is. Exactly, and 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 it comes from the fact that in the Middle Ages, every Englishman was trained to use a war bow. You know, and it's like it it genuinely is like embarrassing that you guys have got so you've got a handle on this right and so obviously i love coming to america and going shooting because i'm just like yeah you know i can there, there is something spiritual about it it's like yeah this should be how it is well what happened to you guys uh like no seriously like there was we lost world war ii no that that's <laughs> true uh there was also a school shooting in dunblane in yeah, scotland yeah. and then there was a large campaign for disarmament where parents wrote petitions and took them to parliament but we didn't so, have a written constitution that said but i but I, I actually don't think that is what i would focus on my question is how did the culture change to where you know what what was that cultural the, the lack of the second amendment that's what it is i i i i i, I agree that's why they passed the law, but the United States it's, it's has gun the, culture. Yeah, I know. But the, the thing is, you have a gun culture because it's codified in your Second Amendment. So every, that, that, every, kid, in, every kid in school has this well, knowledge. And But that's not why we have a gun culture. I think it's, I think it's I also think it to do with the Second World War in that think about the amount of homegrown casualties that Britain took. There wasn't necessarily the ability to I, guys, pass that on I down can, the chain. I think that it's America. I will, I will simplify it real quick. Done. World War II happens, and most of your strongest men and the strongest men of Europe died. Yeah, partially, but like, look at honestly, the size of the United States is part of the reason mm. because there was so much frontier and yeah. so much frontier for such a long time. You couldn't rely on the police. The police definitely there was the law was you ta taking care of your family on the frontier. So it was it was the gun culture comes from the fact that you were on your own if you were on the frontier.